Ayun. Yan. Uh, balik na tayo sa ating programa. Naghang pala ako, no? Ganun talaga kapag live, no? Kakaproblema talaga minsan sa internet. So, may question ba, mga anak? May question? So, kung walang tanong, mga anak, uh, kung walang tanong, uulitin lang natin konti uh, para mabilis, ha? Back mo nga, anak, mula sa impulse. Mula sa impulse, na Yan. So, dalawa yung hinahanap sa sample problem. Yung una, yung impulse nito, tsaka yung pangalawa is yung tinatawag nating final velocity, no? In order to find the final velocity, kailangan muna natin kumpitin kung ano yung impulse nito. So, impulse, like I said before, is equates sa FT, no? Or uh, force multiplied by time, no? So, we simply multiply 90N, nasa given naman, nasa word problem naman, 90N multiplied by 0.2 seconds, no? So, 90 times 0.2 Try nyo rin sa calculator nyo, lalabas dyan, 18 newton seconds, no? So, meron tayong impulse. Makukuha na natin yung tinatawag na final velocity. Tignan natin. Okay, so para makuha natin yung formula sa final velocity, impulse, no, or F, FT is equals to M, uh, the, the product of M, close and open parenthesis, final velocity minus initial velocity. So, dahil yung initial velocity natin dito is at rest, so tandaan nyo mga anak, ha, kapag at rest yung isang bagay, yung initial velocity niya is zero. So, impulse is equals to M, close and open parenthesis, final velocity minus zero. So, dahil zero naman siya, pwede nyo na siyang tanggalin. No? So, impulse is equals to product, the product of M, o, uh, M and V sub F, no? So, ang gagawin lang natin, eh, i-divide natin siya sa mass para matira yung final velocity. Then, yung final na formula ang gagamitin natin is V sub E is equals to impulse all over M. So, okay. Check na natin, no? Translate na natin yung formula. V sub F is equals to 18 newton seconds all over 0.17. So, saan nakuha yung 18? So, nakuha po natin yan sa newton seconds. Saan po nakuha yung 0.17 kilogram? Ayan po, given po sa word problem natin, no? 0.17 kilogram hockey puck. Ayan po yung, yung bola ng hockey. So, in order to do that, para makuha natin yung ma-divide natin siya, kailangan muna natin i-convert yung newton sa kilogram meter per second squared. Always remember, kilogram meter per second squared and newton were the same, no? Parehas lang sila, no? So, V sub F is equals to 18 kilogram meter per second squared multiplied by S all over 0.17 kilogram, no? Tandaan nyo parati yan, ha? Yung newton at yung kilogram meter per second squared were the same, no? So, pwede na natin siya ma-divide, no? So, cancel na natin yung kilogram, kilogram over kilogram, cancel out. S, S squared over S, ang matitira is S, no? So, ang matitira natin is M over S, S ay unit. So, 18 divided by 0.8. 0.17, ang final answer is final velocity is equals to 105.88 meter per seconds. Nakuha na ba? Nakuha na. Okay, so kung nakuha, pare-assume ko na nakuha, type nga mabisa mga na kung nakuha talaga natin. Yun, no? Mabisa. Salamat. Nakuha pa lang natin. Ito pala yung hindi ko nabasa. So, dahil nakuha nyo na, magbibigay tayo ng practice exercise pa lang to Wala pa yung activity. Bibigyan ko kayo ng 8 minutes. 11.03. Pasa natin sa G-Class. Your time starts now. Ano na, sagot lang muna. Mamaya na yung copy and answer sa, ano, sa final sa activity. Kahit sagot lang muna, 8 minutes mga anak. Yan. Double check natin. Tignan natin kung tama ba yung mga pinagagawa natin. Tignan natin. 
Okay, so ganun pa rin yung formula. Impulse is equals to the product of force and time. No? We simply multiply 95N sa 0.3. No? Ayan yung ano, no? golf. Yung, uh, ayan yung golf. Uh, yung 95N, ayan yung force na in-apply ng golf. First. So yung 0.3, ayan yung uh, interval or yung span bago niya pinalo yung Uh, yung bola ng golf, no? So, we simply multiply 95N sa 0.3. So, we get the product of 28.5 newton second. So, we already have a, uh, meron na tayong impulse. So, dahil may impulse na tayo, makukuha na natin yung tinatawag natin final velocity, no? So, in order to do that, derive natin yung formula. Impulse is equals to the product of M, close and open parenthesis, final velocity minus initial velocity. So, dahil yung initial velocity natin is zero, magiging zero siya, no? Impulse, impulse is equals to the product of M, close and open parenthesis, final velocity minus zero. So, impulse is equals to M multiplied by final velocity, no? So, divide natin siya both sides sa meter, uh, sa mass, para mawala yung mass at matira yung final velocity, no? So, focus tayo sa formula to. Final velocity is equals to impulse all over mass. So, ang gagawin na natin, i-translate na natin yung mga given, no? Final velocity is equals to 28.5 newton seconds all over 0.5 no kilograms in order to divide that kailangan na natin yung i-convert muna yung newton sa kilogram meter sa kilogram meter per second no? always remember newton and kilogram meter per second are the same no tingnan natin so final velocity is equals to 28.5 kilogram meter per second squared Multiplied by S all over 0.5 kilogram. No? So, cancel out na yung kilogram. Cancel out na rin yung uh, S. Kasi kilogram over kilogram. Cancel out. S squared. Uh, S over S squared. Na matitira is S. No? So, ganyan yung rule sa cancellation of unit. No? So, yung final answer natin ay... Final velocity is equals to 0.33 meter per second. No? So, sana nakuha na natin lahat no? dahil magkakaroon na tayo ng activity. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng 20 minutes para sa activity natin. Next slide, anak. Copy the word problem. 20 minutes, 9.27. Ipasa just sa G, sa G class. Your time starts now. Okay, pwede na magpasa mga anak. Yan, uh, nakita ko mukhang maraming nakakuha ng lesson natin ngayong araw, no? So, maraming salamat sa makikinig. No? Ingat kayo dyan parate. Stay safe. Stay at home. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Naim Hogany. Bye. Thank you. Salamat. Nabisa kayo lahat. Thank you sa inyo. Bye-bye. Bisa rin kayo, nak. Thank you, nak.